everybody and welcome back to my channel welcome back for another vlog it's going to be a vlog over the couple a couple of days there's some updates some bits i want to share with you i just wanted to start this video by giving some updates about upcoming things as you know it's getting to the festive time of year and a lot of you guys have been asking me if i'm going to be doing vlogmas this year i didn't do it last year and unfortunately i hate to say it but I don't think I'm going to be doing it in the sense of daily vlogging this year. I really, ideally, I'd love to do vlogmas, film every day. But realistically, with a job, I was I'm working over Christmas, not feasible to be daily vlogging. There will potentially be some Christmas vlogs. I do have some things planned, but unfortunately I'm not going to be doing vlogmas in the sense of daily vlogging. Also, with it being my granddad's birthday at the start of the month, of December I don't think it would be very appropriate for me to vlog those first few days anyway because it's the first birthday without him um, so I'm going to be obviously very emotional around that time um, I have got some exciting plans for December though me and my boyfriend are going to Yorkshire for a couple of days he's finally going to meet my grandma um, we've booked one of the I don't know if people have seen it but the outdoor igloos we've booked one of them to have some fun drinks and we're going to go around the Yorkshire market I'm very excited to do that um, I'm so excited for Christmas Day this year, you have no idea, I don't know why I feel like I've had such a low mood year I just need some happiness in my life and I feel like I just love Christmas So I'm very excited for Christmas to arrive I did want to show you a couple of pieces I have been picking up recently I did tell myself I was on a shopping ban but I fell and tripped into uh, Zara I picked up a couple of things I just wanted to share with you because I'm obsessed I have been selling a lot of my clothes on Vinted. If you guys don't already know, my Vinted got block blocked, um, so I've been using my mum's Vinted to sell my stuff, but I've been selling a lot of my stuff on there. I've been a really big decluttering for the new year from Primark. The first thing is something I'm going to be wearing to the Christmas market. Um, I saw these and I thought they were perfect. I got some little ear muffs. Now, I'm not usually an ear muff girl, however, it's very cold. It's getting very cold on an evening at the minute and when I wear a hat, I always get too hot on my head, but my ears get cold, so I thought this is a perfect solution. These were £5, and they're so stinking cute. Look at them. I'm wearing these around the Christmas market, and they're going to be perfect to keep my ears warm, and I just think they're so stinking cute. The other thing I got from Primark, which I haven't seen in there before, but I was like, I need this in my life. Primark have started doing the also famous Stradivarius dupes, the backless tops so i picked this one up in grey um i love my backless top that i've got in black from stradivarius but this is kind of like a skimpy like skims dupe material but yeah it's got backless and then this looks so nice on um for six pound i was like okay primark i see what you're doing onto the bits from zara the first being and i know i keep saying it i should not be buying jackets but i'm such a jacket girl i just love them and i saw this one and i fell in love how nice is this jacket so it's just this collared bomber jacket it's in like that full leather material it's got the big pockets this looks so cool and i just think with a basic top and jeans can't go wrong this is stunning i can't wait to wear it i feel like i was thinking of christmas day um when i saw this i'm not normally a color girl and um, very rare i wear color but i really want to get into wearing color this makes me look so washed out at the minute with makeup on I think this is going to look so cute. Christmas Day, this is what I'm thinking of wearing. This is beautiful little red cropped knitted jumper. I did get a medium. Uh, I'm normally a large inside, but I wanted a bit more cropped, so I did get the medium. But this is beautiful. I think with the scarf tights and boots on Christmas Day, this is going to look beautiful. Last thing I did get was a pair of jeans. I don't actually have any jeans in this colour. Um, I did pick up a pair of the... Um, wide leg straight fit uh, jeans from Zara but I got this grey colour I don't own a pair of grey jeans and I've seen a lot of people rocking je grey jeans and I feel like these are a staple of the wardrobe that I was missing out on um, so I did pick these up ah, these are incredible um, the best jeans I think I've bought in a while I think my waist perfectly also how stunning are my Christmas nails for this year so this set's black so sparkles for new year and then the Christmas ones are red glitter. How beautiful are these? Honestly, my nail lady is incredible. I'm obsessed with these. Also, this is a little sneak pe peek into my wrapping this year, but I'm obsessed with the wrapping paper I got. I got it from Card Factory. Um, so all the girls have got the little 
Merry Christmas uh, with little pink bows and then I've done my boyfriend's in the blue um, with the little gold stars on and they're just so cute. I can't wait to give all my presents out. I'm so excited this year. So I'm dressed and ready for the day and I've just got my sister's and seekers uh, hoodie on and then Matt done all the leggings. Um, I'm about to go do a yodel parcel drop off because like I said I sold so much stuff on Vinted. Um, my room literally looks like a movie depot. Um, I'm going to take all that and I've got a return to do and to pick up some food bits so I'm just going to nip out. We're going to take all seven of these parcels. My delivery room is going to hate me um, and then go get some food bits. Parcels are taken, returns done. I've just nipped into Morrison's to get some food bits. Um, I did pick up some more wrapping paper. I got this really cute little blue one with houses and little skaters on it. I had so much choice though, like I was so afraid. Just like, what do I get? I had some with gonks on, there's some with gingerbread on. But my colour scheme this year, the ones I've got left to wrap are like my dad's and like boy ones. Um, so I thought I'll get blue because I've done like pink and white for the girls. So I've got blue for boys. Um, and that wrapping paper's really cute. Um, so I'm going to head home now and probably wrap the last couple of presents I've got. I'm just going to ignore the mess of the bedroom is because there's literally stuff everywhere and we're going to ignore the hair. I thought I got my headband back in to keep it out of my face but it's just doing its own thing today. Um, keep looking out the window there's a magpie that keeps a pit since my granddad passed and it's probably very superstitious but since my granddad passed there's a magpie that keeps just one magpie that keeps appearing outside my window and i've just got this feeling I just feel like stuff like that very superstitious with things like that but it's just kept appearing and i'm like this is weird the living room just knocked on my door brought my lounge parcel i'm so excited for this because a i've not had a lounge parcel in ages and i'm so obsessed with their underwear um and B, I've been waiting for this all day, so I'm glad it's finally come. Um, I basically purchased some new underwear because is there anyone else, like, you just get to the end and you're like, I need a refresh. Like, all my underwear is, like, strings coming off it, falling apart because they've been very well loved. Well, I did an order on Lounge and I did the, um, they were doing a bundle and save, so I think it was, like, eight pairs for, like, 40, 50 pounds, which... Is a good considering that one pair costs nearly that price but um yeah let's just uh, let's just see i did that order and there's loads <laughs> did the black friday deal and i got eight pairs and i love new underwear um so let's just pick up and start so the first pair is the rose thong in the color black Ooh, this looks pretty <gasps> god she gorgeous look at this i'm sorry i'm sorry this is beautiful how pretty so like it said it's just mesh it's black it's got little red roses on so excited i've got new underwear next one's the lilac red floral thong oh, it's just a love new underwear oh my god these are stunning how cute are these so this really nice lilac colour they've got little daisies on and a little bow these are so cute i love them i did part buy a pair of briefs these are the bamboo basic briefs these are really good for when it's your girl's time of the month these are the most comfiest pants to wear so i did pick up a nice new pair to make myself feel better so they're them then we've got the allure thong love all the little cheeky names Oh, this feels so good. I've not done a lounge haul in the longest time. <gasps> Stop it. I think this might be my favourite pair. Take a moment for the underwear. How pretty. And then on the back, it's got a little L and... <gasps> I'm in love. I'm in love. Oh my God, they're so cute. Then we've got the Blossom Balcony Thong in the colour Brunette. Like me. <laughs> On my days, on my days. Okay, I might have to buy the matching bra to this because how nice is this colour? Oh, I just mm, love. Oh, it's like I keep going and going and going. Um, Blossom Thong in the colour purple. This is up the same as the last one, but a different colour. 
It's called Stone Lane. Oh my god, gorgeous. Then we've got the Grace Balcony Thong in the colour hot pink. Had to get a pink pair in there, didn't I? Hat. <gasps> oh my god, stop it. Stop it. <gasps> Beautiful. Just, the, just all about the details, the stitching, the. Oh. Uh, the last pair is the Seduce Thong in the colour maroon. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, these might be my favourites. The black pair or this pair is definitely my favourite. How sexy is this? Oh, look at the back. Stop it. Oh my god. These are beautiful. Oh, I can't wait to wear them all. So yes, new underwear day and I'm very happy about it. I've just been having a bit of a room sort, sorting through my drawers and I was looking at my makeup bits that I have. Um, I just want to talk to you about a dupe that I found that's actually better than the real thing. I never thought I'd say it. So, I'm talking about, I've just bought it recently. It's the e.l.f. Glow Reviver Lip Oil in the shade Jam Session. I think it's, yep, yeah, called Jam Session. So, it's this. Now, this is supposed to be a dupe for the um, Dior Lip Oil, which I also own. I own that in the colour Rosewood. Um, and... I've had this for months and I've never really reached for it, so I thought I'm going through a bit of a stage at the minute where I'm trying out new lip products, seeing what I like and what my holy grails, because you guys know I have my favourite lipstick, but a lip oil, I've not set on one just yet. So I wanted to put these against each other. They are two completely different colours, but coming out of it, I'm quite shocked. I actually do prefer the e.l.f. one to the Dior one, so I'm actually going to be getting rid of this, unfortunately, which I never thought I'd say. Don't get me wrong, the packaging is stunning, the product is really really good but the only thing i hate about this it's too sticky like every time i've worn it my lips have been sticky you know like when you've eaten like a sticky sweet and you can still feel it on your lips it just felt so sticky and i felt like it just i just didn't like the feeling of it whereas this similar color payoff don't get me wrong the dr one's way more than the elf one but it's not sticky which i like it's just like adds a bit of gloss on top of like a lipstick so I honestly do feel like I'm slightly leaning more towards this, which is really bad of me to say. Um, because, like I said, I do love both. But I feel like I'm going to have to say goodbye to my Dior one. I did just want to have a little chat with you guys though as well. Just kind of like a, a teeth update in a way. Um, if you guys already don't know, I'm currently undergoing underbite treatment. Um, because my jaw's the wrong way around, if you're new to the channel, if you're not, you know what's going on. Um, but I've had my braces on now, I think I am, when did I get them on, end of July, August, September, I'm four months, nearly, end of November, I'll be four months into having my braces on. Um, I just wanted to kind of give you a little update on how I'm finding them. Um, so at the start... I did really struggle, uh, I think I've mentioned it previously on my channel, but I did really, really struggle with eating um, and I did lose, consequently I did lose, a mixture of that and grief, which I'm not going to keep mentioning, but I did lose two stone um, and I haven't actually been able to put that weight back on yet, which to me, to some people they're like, oh you look really good, but to me, in certain photos and when I made it in certain videos back I'm like I look so skinny like in my face I can really see it um but I'm definitely noticing the changes each time I get them tightened now so I've had them tightened once so far so I had them put on they were tightened at the end of October they're getting tightened again on the 1st of December and I can notice such a big change already like I have done videos with, I'm going to do like a video of like before and after so you can see them I'm not going to obviously show you my teeth right now but I have noticed like my fangs are really up here, started to drop down, my teeth are moving, which is good and all that. But oh my god, editing some of my YouTube videos and TikTok videos back, I can't look at my face, like my teeth. My I've noticed I'm getting more of a lisp, which obviously is gonna happen with the braces. But like when I see I know that the dentist said to me they're gonna get worse before they get better. But oh my god, we're only four month in and I can already notice a big change like I'm not going to show you too close but that gap's a lot bigger it only used to be I think it was 
five millimeters when we first started. I don't know what it is now. I know they've obviously got to be straight before the surgery happens, but I don't know. I get. I don't get me wrong. I have my days where I feel absolutely fine within myself, but some days I just feel so conscious of it. And I've noticed, especially when I've been at work, if I've like spoke and said a specific, try not to do it now, word. I have spat, which I know is obviously a side effect for embraces, but it's very embarrassing. Um, but yeah, I was watching one of my vlogs back from a couple of months ago and I didn't realise how much my speech had changed since getting my brace on until I've watched videos back and I'm like, ooh, I've got a bit of a lisp, um, which is obviously side effects of embraces and I feel like everyone has it, but it's just been a lot of things to get used to on this brace journey. I feel like there's been a lot of changes. I've noticed a lot of changes. I am touch wood. I feel like I am starting to put my weight back on slightly, not to the extent that I was. Like I've mentioned in videos, I've had to buy like new clothes because like I said, none of my jeans fit me because I literally lost, I don't even know how many centimetres it was around my waist, but I did lose two stones. So you can imagine how baggy my jeans were. Like I've had to size down nearly two sizes, which is crazy. Um, but it's all part of the journey. I thought I'd just give you a little update about that. Um, like I said, there will be probably a bit, I'm hoping to do so many videos of the journey because like I said, when I first started, um, when I first heard my diagnosis and I started researching it, there weren't really a lot of content out there about underbite treatment, surgery, like the recovery and stuff like that. So I do want to document it all for you guys. Um, so I have been doing a video after every tightening of the developments of my teeth. Um, but yes eating wise as well i feel like i did go through a phase of being so scared to like bite stuff and stuff touching my teeth whereas now i'm basically back to normal the only thing i'm really avoiding is like biting into fruit or biting into like crunchy bread i'm still avoiding stuff like pizza crusts and just bits like that stuff that's very really hard and crunchy and sticky that's food i'm still avoiding i'm drinking through a straw um they told me to do that so that they don't discolor my teeth where the brackets are not um so i am sticking to the guidelines and i am really really taking care of my teeth um but yeah i just thought i'd give you a little update check in see how i'm getting on i am okay um i do dread the tightenings before just because it's like fear of the unknown but up to, the first one was absolutely fine after like they were a pain for about two hours and that was it um so i'm hoping it's just gonna be exactly the same we will see fingers crossed but yes i did want to give you guys a little update on what is going on teeth wise so a couple more bits from a uh, Primark. I have this style of pyjama in which every single colour of the brat or new colour for the festive season and I had to grab it. It's the Jersey Biscuit Boyfriend Sets um, and I brought it out in this beautiful red colour so I couldn't say no because it's literally the comfiest things to sleep in like they are so soft. Um, so I had to I'd get that to add to my collection. The thing I picked up was this cute little but I just thought when I wear my hair half up at the back of my head, it's going to look really cute. Um, and if I was wearing bows in the hair at the minute, I feel it would look really cute. So I got this one, it was only £2.50. So I just thought it was really cute. Then I had some reward points on my Hollister account. Um, I'd built them up. So I decided to treat myself to something um, with my points. Um, so I got this. It's just a basic, but it'll be a basic that comes out year on year on year. Um, it's this nice little square neck. Uh, knitted jumper and um, it's so flattering and like it fits so nice it flares a bit on the sleeves and this is just stunning and i thought with my leather skirt or jeans or literally anything it's just a staple to have and it's such a good quality apologies the line's a bit dodgy i'm just currently at works car park um but i did just pick up another zara parcel i do need to stop shopping this i'm blaming amy brown for this i've been watching amy brown on youtube for a while um, and she did a zara haul in the past month um and she got this jumper and i was obsessed i tried it on in zara and i fell in love with it and then i was like i need to wait for payday um but yeah i picked it up and i'm going to share it with you because it's beautiful it's another color that i don't really wear but it's such a nice jumper i also got my nails put on um how nice are I love them so much, but yes, I'm going to show you the jumper. How nice is this jumper? It's the nicest detail, like it's so soft. It's this gorgeous blue v-neck. I got it in a large, so I could wear it slightly baggy and off the shoulder. But she's stunning and she is so soft. Uh, and Amy styled it with a leather skirt and it looked really good, so apologies Amy that I'm copying you, but you looked really good, so I've got inspiration. 